Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be reviewing and summarizing the Flash Fire Pokemon expansion set. This expansion set is the 60th set released in the United States. It was released on May 7th, 2014, and the Flash Fire set is the second set in the X and Y series. There are 109 total cards in this set. And if you look at the bottom right hand corner of a card from the Flash Fire set, you'll see that it just says 106 down here. That is because the three Mega EX cards from the set are all secret rare cards. Also down at the bottom right, there is the set symbol for Flash Fire. When this set was released, it was released with two theme decks. The two theme decks are Brilliant Thunder which is a fire and lightning type deck, and Heliolisk is the main Pokemon in this deck. And then the other deck that was released with the set is called Mystic Typhoon, and this deck is a water and psychic type deck. And the main Pokemon in this deck is Meowstic. Those two decks were both three, were 12.98, at release date, $12.98 at Walmart, $12.99 at other places. Booster packs were $3.98 on release date, $3.99 most places. And then booster boxes from this set ranged in price from $95 to $100. Not only were booster boxes, booster packs, and theme decks released at the time that this set was released, but in stores there are also several other items, a Charizard EX box, for $19.98 was probably the most popular item and then two blister packs one including a Machamp Hollow the other including a Haxorus Hollow were also released at the same time those were $11.99 and then there were two promo packs that included one flash fire booster pack a coin and then a promo card either Skiddo or Honage and those were $4.98 so again, this is what a Flash Fire card looks like. That's an EX card. And I can show you what the actual cardboard artworks look like. There are four featured Pokemon on the different artworks. The first one, the orange Charizard, is a Mega Charizard Y. Then there is Pyroar, which is the only non-Mega Pokemon featured on the artwork. And then there's Mega Kangaskhan. And then Mega Charizard X, which is my favorite looking Charizard. So there's all four cover arts on the cardboard. You have to get these in retail stores. And then the actual booster packs had those same four Pokemon on them. Here is Mega Charizard X. There's a Mega Charizard Y. Mega Kangaskhan. And then a Pyroar. Now, as you can see, these booster packs have 10 cards in them, and they include 5 common, 3 uncommon, 1 reverse hollow, 1 rare, and then an online TCG code card, which looks like the following. It looks like here, and this unlocks one booster pack for the online TCG. Some other information about this set. There are several EX cards in this set. The EX cards that are in the set, there are two different versions of Charizard. One is like I showed earlier, like this. So there's two different Charizard EX cards. There is a Magnezone EX, Toxicroak EX, and then Kangaskhan EX. So a total of five different EX cards. All of those EX cards, except for one of the Charizard EX cards, are available in EX full art versions. And then there are three full art trainer slash supporter cards, Lissandre, Pokemon Center Lady, and Pokemon Fan Club. And then there are three Mega Evolution EX cards, which I referred to earlier, and all three of those cards are secret rare cards. There's Charizard X, Mega Charizard EX Y, and then Mega Kangaskhan EX. So that's a summary of the ultra rare cards, other than you know, the commons, uncommons, rares, and rare hollows. So pull rates for this set 
I've only opened about 20 packs at this point, and I've only pulled one EX card, the one I'm showing right here. So I'm, I would say that the pull rates for the Flash Fire set are quite similar to the X and Y set, where you're probably going to get two to three EX cards per box, and potentially if you get a Mega Evolution EX, you'll probably get two EX cards for a total of three, or if you don't get a Mega EX card, you'll probably get a full art card and a couple of EX cards. So definitely a very good set to collect in my opinion. Charizard is one of the most popular Pokemon out there, so I think the values of these cards will always be pretty good. So if you're a collector looking to pick up a set, I would definitely recommend the Flash Fire set. Again, it was released on May 7, 2014, and it's basically based around Charizard. As you can tell, two of the four um, packs from the set contain Charizard on the artwork. So that about summarizes everything on the Flash Fire set. I could just state my favorite card, of course, Charizard's my favorite Pokemon, and my favorite card from the set would probably be the Mega Charizard X EX card. And that's because it is the blue version of Charizard. So if you would like to post a comment saying what your favorite card is from the set, or if you have any other questions about the Flash Fire set or any other set out there, feel free to comment and also to check out the link in the video description of this video which will link you to the playlist on all the sets that I have reviewed and I've actually reviewed all 60 sets out there in the TCG. So there's plenty more flash fire videos coming up in the future. Next weekend I plan on uploading a video on how much these cards are actually worth and I also have a booster box opening coming up soon and plenty more flash fire booster packs to open up as well. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the video description of this video, my blog, Facebook, and Twitter links, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.